Hello, and welcome to the Houston Public Library's STEM video series. I'm Crystal, and I can't wait to show you some interesting activities for you to follow along with at home. Make sure you have some adult supervision, and let's get started. Today's experiment is going to show off one of the weird properties of water called surface tension. In this video, we're going to learn how soap interacts with the surface tension of the water. You'll see how items resting on the top of the water move all over. We're going to have a little fun today and give this experiment a magical theme. We're going to use pepper to represent spider eggs, glitter will be our fairy dust, and dish soap will be our basilisk venom. Watch how it swirls and moves just like fleeing spiders or mystical floating fairy dust. So for this activity, the materials you will need are a bowl, about a teaspoon of spider eggs, but for us muggles, pepper, our fairy dust, and again for us muggles, just some pretty glitter, and our basilisk venom, better known as dishwashing soap. And to complete our activity, water. All right, let's get started. First, set up your bowl and fill it about halfway up with water. Next, we'll add the spider eggs to the top so that they're sitting on the surface. Then, we'll stick our finger in the water. Not very exciting, is it? The eggs move a little, but don't do much yet. Now, take a little bit of basilisk venom and rub it on your finger so that it's lightly coated. Stick your finger in the water again and look how the eggs flee from the venom. <laughs> Now, let's empty the bowl, rinse it out, and fill it halfway up again with water to try it with the fairy dust. For the second half of the experiment, empty and rinse out your bowl. Here you can see I have a clean bowl, and I'm going to fill it halfway up with water. Next, add your fairy dust so that there are three little piles. Put some on this side, this side. And now we will add some basilisk venom to our finger again. And stick it in the water. Look at the way it moves around. It doesn't like the basilisk venom either. Now, why did it do that? The water is what's known as being polar, which means that each molecule has a positive and a negative end. When it's all poured together, the positive ends link up with the negative ends and create a tension on the surface. That's why the pepper and glitter don't immediately sink to the bottom. When you add soap, like when we put our soaped fingers into the water, it breaks up the surface tension and makes the water rapidly run around because it interrupts that linkage between the water molecules. Thanks so much for joining me and the Houston Public Library for our experiment. We hope to see you next time.